welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have the January 2020 edition of the MDT Monthly Battle Royal. Now, as you guys know, coming into this, I have not yet gotten a new tripod, and so I have to film this bitch with the worst tripod known to man, so I hope that we can do it because I'm not going to be able to detach the camera because it's so difficult to do. Uh, and I don't want to do that six or seven times in this video. If I have to do that, I will go mentally insane and blow up my house. What we're going to do is try to keep it attached as I, you know, try to show who's all eliminated. So I'm going to do my very best for you guys. But today, ladies and gentlemen, I think we have 66 or 65 or who the hell knows. I just started adding guys and then by the time I looked up, it was freaking full and I was like, you know what, Brad? F it. But today, Kofi Kingston will defend his Battle Royal Championship in the MDT Battle Royal. I did not want to do this shit in the kitchen either just because I didn't want to do it in the kitchen, man. I just I got sick of doing it in the kitchen. Wanted to change it up a little bit. So we have this messy shit in the back. I don't give a damn. We're running it. Who, who cares? Here we go, guys. You guys know how this shit works. Kofi Kingston will not be inserted to the second swipe, so the Battle Royal Championship will be inserted later on. Almost knocked out. But almost knocked out Cena. The pants cuffs rule. I don't even know if we have people with pants cuffs. Maybe a couple people. But if the bottom of your pants cuffs touch, it's just like your two feet touching. So you will be eliminated. So both feet must hit the floor. The little gray floor, if you guys can see back there. It's a little gray floor. Two feet hit the gray floor, guys. You will be eliminated. I think that's it for the rules. Kofi Kingston inserted on the second swipe. Uh, if you fall off the front, if you land on the floor, automatic elimination. And I think that's pretty much the rules, guys. So now that we have done that, guys, let's go ahead and get started with swipe number one. This is our first Battle Royal of 2020, so I'm very excited, psych, to do this video. Let's go ahead and get started and see if Kofi Kingston will be the champion going into the rest of 2020 or we will crown a new champion. You guys can see we have Super Cena. We got all the creator wrestlers. We got some crazy stuff going on, some Elite 75 featured. Let's go ahead and see who the hell is going to win this thing. All right, guys, here we go with SWAT number one. Let's find out what the hell happens. Shit. Damn. All right, guys, we had a ton of guys fall on the floor right here. And don't look at my floor. It's freaking nasty particles. But Jesus Christ, and all the guys that fell off in the floor, that is very unfortunate for those. But we did have some guys, like, stack up in the back right here. So we do know that Rey Mysterio right here is safe. Ultimo Dragon, creator wrestler, is safe. Dean Ambrose is safe. Mojo Rawley is safe. Daniel Bryan, unfortunately, gone. His toes are pointed down right there, if you guys can see that. I hate this tripod. Safe, safe, safe. Safe, safe, safe. Boogeyman is gone, if you guys can see him under there. Yeah, he's he's gone as hell. Under, under no way, uh, under Ho Ho Jose, he is gone. Daniel Bryan, gone. Safe, safe, safe. Diesel, gone. Safe. The rest are safe, obviously, because they did not hit the ground. They're obviously up and stuff. But Jesus, man, I'm going to have to sort through and see who all the hell got eliminated. Not Super Cena. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, Christ. Oh, you hate to see it. Actually, Jeff Hardy is safe because he's not touching the floor. It's supposed to be any part of your body touching the floor, you're eliminated. Jeff Jeff Hardy's not even touching right there. So Jeff Hardy will be safe. All right, guys, so in that round, we did have 31 total eliminations. As you guys can see here, a ton of creator wrestlers bit the dust. Daniel Bryan, Seth Rollins, the Hurricane. We had Chris Benoit get eliminated. Matt Riddle, the little red flare guy down there. Elias, Tyler Bate, Diesel. I mean, we had a ton of guys get eliminated. Even Boogeyman down here in the corner right here. Stupid tripod piece of garbage. But 31 total eliminations on that first swipe. We do have, you know, all these guys still remaining, though. We still got a ton of guys left in this thing. I think half the field was eliminated, so we are halfway to where we want to be. Crowning a new champion, or will Kofi Kingston win? We got the MDT Battle Royal champion. Now it is time to insert him, guys. So I am going to remove the title, set it off to the side, and we are going to plug him into the middle because the champion gets a little middle advantage, you know? Uh, anything's possible, guys. I mean, Jesus. After that last elimination, how they all fell off. I mean, it's a good... It, there, there's a good chance that a lot of these guys could be eliminated right here on swipe number two, but we're gonna find the hell out. I tried to limit them from being in the back portion so they didn't get saved by, like, the back part. I want it to be more open and free so people can fall out of the ring, possibly fall on the floor, possibly stack on top of one another. We won't know who wins this thing. Let's go ahead and run it for swipe number two and see if we can move forward on and see if we can crown a new champion or if Kofi Kingston can retain that title. Another huge swipe, ladies and gentlemen. So over here, guys, it looks like the champion Kofi Kingston did survive. You guys can see his feet up right there. Unfortunately, Goldberg and Sting did not survive. They are eliminated. EC3 also is eliminated. You guys can see their both feet are touching. Keith Lee actually survived. Uh, it looks like Ho-Ho Jose 
Oh, snap. Ho-Ho Jose may be eliminated. I can't really see from this angle. It looks like he's eliminated. Shane McMahon is safe, though. We can go ahead and get him and put him up here. Chad Gable and Alexander Wolf are safe. It looks like Andrade is safe. This foot is off the ground. So these three are safe. Over here, it looks like Mojo Raleigh and Dash Wilder did bite the dust, unfortunately. Both of their toes are touching on both feet, so they will join the floor gang down there. Uh, we also had some more on the floor. So, good God, did y'all hear that pop? This tripod sucks. So you got all these guys on the floor, as you can see. Miz over there. Got some uh, other guys over there. Brian Kendrick is touching the floor right there, so that is gone. Actually, now that I'm looking at it, it looks like Trash Corbin is not touching the floor. So he will be safe, unfortunately. So up here, guys, it does look like Sting, Goldberg, EC3. Uh, Jeff Hardy's safe. Finn Balor is safe. They're, both of their feet are off the ground. One's touching, but not both, so they will be safe. It looks like Uso is eliminated. Ho-Ho Jose, I think, is eliminated, unfortunately. Like, he, he is touching. The Both heels are touching. KO safe. Keith Lee safe. Got some guys in the back. AJ Styles is safe. Pete Dunn looks to be... I can't tell from this angle, but Tony Nese is eliminated. Tony Nese back there is eliminated. Uso is eliminated. Let's go ahead and get these guys. You know what? It may actually look like uh, Uso is safe. So, both of these guys are safe. EC3 eliminated. Keith Lee, great. Kevin Owens, great. AJ Styles, great. And Pete Dunn, I think, is also safe. So, we're down to maybe the top 12 or so, but uh, let's go ahead and move on to swipe number three. All right, guys, it is time for swipe number three. We got 14 guys remaining, plenty of notables. We have a three-time champion, Finn Balor. I think it's three-time. We have Kevin Owens, who's a two-time champ, maybe, or one time. We got Kofi Kingston, the champion already. You got some great names in here like Jeff Hardy, AJ Styles, Pete Dunne, Keith Lee, so this is exciting, guys. We're going to see if Kofi can, in fact, retain right here. I'm not going to hit him as hard right here. I'm just going to kind of slap him, see if they can stay on screen or at least the best of my ability. They probably will slide, though. So let's just shut the hell up and hit it for swipe number three. Okay, we did lose a couple. So the guys on the floor, guys, is the other Uso. I can't remember if it's Jimmy or Jay and C and Almas. And then in the front here, guys, we do have Trash Corbin that looks to be eliminated there. It looks like one, two, three kid over here is eliminated. I think the champion's right foot is off the ground, so that is good for Kofi Kingston. I can't really tell with Kevin Owens. It kind of looked, oh man, Kevin Owens is gone, Brad. He is totally touching. So Kevin will be gone. Kofi is safe, though. Uh, Kofi will remain in the Battle Royal. One, two, three kids obviously gone. Keith Lee was also gone. It's unfortunate. I really wanted him to get in there. Uh, it, but, yeah, his his toes are touching there. I really want to Keith Lee to win, man. That was kind of my low-key, like, uh, favorite right there. So, Keith Lee will be gone, but it looks like all these guys right here stacked on each other will be safe. Dunn, Balor, Styles, Hardy, Gable, and Shane McMahon actually is not touching either, but Wolf is touching. So, we did lose Wolf. We lost the two on the ground. We lost six total, or seven if you count Keith Lee over there. So, we are moving on possibly to our final swipe, guys. I'm going to hit it with the slow-mo, and we're going to see who the hell touches last. All right, guys, here we go with our next swipe. I got them all in a line right here. Just going to get a little tapsy. We're going to see what the hell happens and see if we can crown a new champion. Will Kofi retain? Could we have a four-time champion? Will it be Balor's fourth time? Who the hell knows, man? Uh, out of all these, I really don't want Shane McMahon to win, but I think the rest of them I would be totally okay with. We got a pretty star-packed ending right here. I just would, I, I, the, the last time I saw Shane McMahon on TV, I wanted to vomit. So let's hit it. So as I'm looking at it right here, guys, it does look like Shane McMahon did get eliminated. Both toes are touching right there. As far as this con is concerned, it looks like Kofi Kingston's clearly off the ground. Chad Gable. Oh, Chad Gable is so close right there. Shorty G. There's actually a little, just mind, where the hell's my hand? A little minute gap. So these two are definitely safe. Um, it looks like Pete Dunne's left foot's off the ground, I think. So uh, we're just going to take these two because they are safe. We know that for a fact. Jeff Hardy did bite the dust right there, so that absolutely sucks eggs. And actually, there unfortunately is no gap for Pete Dunne. Pete Dunne is gone. Jesus, man. I kind of wanted Jeff or uh, Pete Dunne to win there, so they are eliminated. But the, the multiple-time champion, Finn Balor, is still alive. So Demon Finn Balor is still alive, but the rest are eliminated. AJ Styles is also gone. So we're down to our final three. Will it be Shorty G, Kofi Kingston, the champion, or the three-time champion, Finn Balor, could be a fourth. All right, guys, it looks like this will be our final swipe. Finn Balor, the three-time champion. Could be five. I can't freaking remember. I know there's a connoisseur down in the comment section that always pins, you know, who's won the most and, you know, who survived the longest. And uh, I, I love that comment. Whoever can, you know, come up with all the info and provide the stats down below, you know, who's been champion, how many times have been champion, all that good-ish. I would love to see that. I think Finn Balor's been the only one. It's either Brock or Finn Balor that have ever entered the, the Battle Royal as champion and then 
retain the championship. So Kofi Kingston could be in very high company if he could come over that. It, you know, he had an epic 2019 in real life. Here he's back in 2020, about to make some noise in the MDT Battle Royal. Won the title, could retain right here, or Shorty G slash Chad Gable, or we could crown a multiple, multiple time winner, Finn Balor, who has just dominated the Battle Royal. Here we go, guys. I do have my phone slow-mo recording this area so that when they hit, uh, this is not the kitchen floor, so we do not go whoever touches first. We go whoever's feet touch first. So two feet must hit. Whoever's two feet hit last, they will be declared the champion. So let's go ahead and hit it and find out if we can either crown a new champion or will Kofi Kingston join Elite Company and retain his title. I want to make sure they all hit at the same, though. Like, I want... So see, Finn Balor needs to be a little bit this way. All right, all three of them will be hit at the same time. Here we go. Oh, snap. I think I'm going to have to review the footage because Chad Gable and Kofi Kingston are not touching. And actually, Finn Balor's left foot, if you guys can see it from here, is not touching. So uh, we may have to do a little re-scoop. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to review the footage, though. All right, guys. Well, my stupid-ass phone did not record it. So we're going to reshoot this thing and see if we can get it to work this time. Uh, so I guess it worked out. I guess that was just sort of a trial run, but at least none of them were eliminated. You know, it doesn't look like anybody was going to be eliminated on dumb causes or, you know, some, some things that went down. So I guess I'm going to have to re-record that and see if we can get it to work this time. Hopefully we don't have any issues this time. I don't know why it didn't get it. I mean, my God, I've been recording it forever. But let's go ahead and set these back up, and we are going to reshoot it to see what happens for our finale. All right, guys, for this last swipe, how about we just go whoever touches last, like totally touch is last and so that way we don't have to worry about two feet getting eliminated it'll just be the same kitchen floor rules we're gonna go with the kitchen floor rules and see what the hell happens here i'm gonna tap them again whoever touches the table right here last so you know even if it's by split second whatever arm leg head doesn't matter whoever touches this right here last will be declared the new champion or retain the championship for kofi all right, there's no way I can freaking tell right there, so I'm going to go to the footage. We're going to review it, see what the hell happened, and uh, I'll let you guys know in the next segment. All right, guys, here is the final swipe right here, and it's super duper close, to be honest with you. You'll see here, and I'll even plug it into the super slow motion for you guys so you guys can see exactly what happens here. And to me, it looks like Finn Balor hits first, Kofi Kingston hits second, and Chad Gable hits dead last. And I actually have some screenshots here of the footage so you guys can see. Uh, this is a screenshot I took from the video. You guys can see Finn Balor clearly hits first. Uh, there they are mid-air. And then Finn Balor hits first. And then uh, I tried to get it as close as I possibly could. And this is the best angle right here. You guys can see Finn Balor's hitting, Kofi's ponytail is hitting slightly before Chad Gable's head comes down, and Chad Gable looks to be the new MDT Battle Royal Champion. Congratulations to Shorty G slash Chad Gable as he has become the MDT Battle Royal Champion. What an assassin. Overcomes the current champion, overcomes the multi-time champion Finn Balor, and he is your new riding off into the sunset MDT Battle Royal Champion. Congratulations to Shorty G. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE action figure videos. A lot of reviews coming in the next day or so. We got freaking the rest of Elite 75. We got the two-pack of WrestleMania Rey Mysterio with the Mysterio attire. We got Ultimate Editions. We got a lot of ish to get through. And I'm still working on Hell's Gate, guys. If you're asking about Hell's Gate, it's coming soon. I've been grinding my ass off. You guys know we got hit with a ton of stuff at the beginning of January into December. We had Christmas, and then you have the New Year, and then we had uh, Allie getting sick, and then unfortunately her passing, which is still a very tough thing for us right now and it's just been super wild but i promise to god it is going to be worth it when you finally see the show holy christ on a bike over the top ready to go you guys know how it is just hold on it will get there and then we'll get to the rest of the pick fed shows after that but thank you guys for watching please stay with me i love you guys peace out fart in a bag swallow it whole congratulations to shorty g chad gable